Two bowling balls separated by a leaf blower. Simple, right? Nope. With the use of Bernoulli's principle, we turn these ordinary objects into fascinating physics lab equipment. Bernoulli's principle tells us that a high-speed stream of air results in a low pressure. Now, what does that mean? If our demonstrator creates high wind by aiming their leaf blower over the end of this toilet paper roll, they will create a low pressure above the paper resulting in an uplifting force. We even decided to have some surprise fun with the freshmen at Texas A&M. And who says that serious science can't also be silly? What if I told you that a hair dryer can be used to make a ping pong ball float in midair? Don't believe me? See for yourself. The wind from the hair dryer is actually creating a column of high speed air all around the ping pong ball. As we learned before, high speed means low pressure. This difference in pressure creates a force that keeps the ball stuck in the column of air even if we change the angle. Although, at larger angles, our hair dryer just isn't strong enough. We can even add more ping pong balls into our column of air. You may be thinking that this works because the ping pong balls are so light. So let's do a little more testing. We have this rubber blue ball. It's not heavy, but it's much heavier than the ping pong balls. As you might have guessed, the hair dryer just can't produce enough wind to hold up the blue rubber ball. So let's try our giant hair dryer. As you can see, Bernoulli's principle still works on a larger scale. The much stronger column of air holds up our much heavier ball, and even at a steeper angle, 